and welcome to today's video. I am here in the foyer. Um, hopefully it's not too much of an echo because we still, still some of, somewhat of an empty space in the dining room um, and definitely here in this, um, this entryway. And we do have these 12 foot tall ceilings, so hopefully it's not too bad. But I wanted to start here because I wanted to give you a peek inside of the office so, so you can see exactly, you know, what I've been doing, what kind of furniture pieces I've acquired thus far, and some of the the, the um, core pieces um, that I that I purchased. And I didn't want it to be a situation where I waited until the end to do like a final reveal. I wanted to kind of take you all along um, on this path with me as I source pieces, furniture, decor, um, artwork, and you know, all the other miscellaneous items. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see that what's going on. This is a very quick intro. <laughs> so I know sometimes, you know, those are the best. So I'm gonna turn you all around so you can see exactly um, the items that I have. All right, I have flipped the camera around and I am just a little bit embarrassed for you all to see this mirror that has not been unboxed. I know I said I was gonna do it, but this thing called life happened and it just was not a priority, but I am definitely gonna commit to opening within the next few days because I definitely need to see what this mirror looks like. I am hoping that it is not cracked or broken or anything like that because I have maybe a few more days on my return window. So everybody keep your fingers crossed that everything is fine with the mirror. But back to the, to the office, so as you can see, the office is like to the left. So you come in through these double doors and for, for you all have seen, that have seen the um, empty house tour, you'll know that, you know, we have these arch doors, these double um, arch doors. And so when you come in to the left is my office. And I decided to go with, you know, two French doors. And I also wanted to go with, um, a color on the door. I did not want to, you know, keep it in its natural form or paint it white or, you know, stain it um, a shade of brown or black. I wanted to um, go with a pop of color because this is my office. This is supposed to be my happy place. And this is like my space. Besides my closet, this is my space is dedicated specifically to me. So I wanted to decorate it based on my taste. Um, so I chose this color, this Booth Bay Gray by Benjamin Moore. And it is a beautiful color. Let me bring it just a little bit closer so you can see it. Um, so although it's gray, it definitely looks like blue. It's not like a robin's egg blue. It's, it is, it's not that rich of a blue, but it's a, it's definitely an understated blue and it's, it definitely gives out some neutral tones. It's in other parts of our house too. If you've seen the empty house tour, you'll see it um, in there. And I'll definitely show it in future videos as I kind of make my way um, through the house. So let's open the doors so you all can get a, a look um, of exactly what's going on. So this is what's going on in the office. I know it looks like a lot of random furniture right now, but let me tell you about some of the things that will stay. Well, let me, let me first tell you things that won't stay. This chair is not going to stay, and these like nesting tables will not stay. These are these were in storage, that's why they're like super dusty. Um, and they were just placed in here by the movers and I just haven't found a place to put them yet. So I was like, since the office isn't complete, they'll just stay here for now. And I bought this chair like over a decade ago. And at the time I really loved the chair, but I don't have, I have like absolutely nowhere to put this chair. I mean, I probably could get it, um, get it recovered, but I'm not sure how much that it costs. It wouldn't even be worth it, you know, to have something like that, you know, re-upholstered. Um, maybe I should just, you know, price it. But if I decide not to go that route, I could, I may thrift it or, you know, try to settle on Facebook Marketplace or offer up. But this is definitely not staying. And like I said, those nesting tables um, are not staying. 
So the first thing I wanna show you is this rug. And this is a five by eight, and it's actually an outdoor rug. I found this at, at home. And I'm not sure if you all recall or not, but when I went to, uh, no, I mentioned in the video, the, the previous video that I was gonna go to at home and look for like some pink pillows. Um, that was a fail, cause I did not see those pillows in the store, although they say they were in stock, but I didn't see them, but I was too fascinated with this world to even try to look. Um, you know, look in detail for them. I didn't ask for assistance because I just, I was like, you know what, maybe it's just not meant to be. Plus I found some other things that I like, some other pillows. But anyway, I saw this online and I, and when I originally saw it, and I'm gonna pop up a picture of it so you can see what it looks like. When I originally saw it, I said, okay, this is a really nice rug, but I wasn't quite sure what the color would look like. I think the color, it's very different from what I saw. I would say very different, but it's definitely not the same from what I saw online. Um, but when I got to the store, um, I was like, okay, I think this could work because what I wanna go with, pink is my favorite color. I love pink. And this does have some pink um, colors in there. It's more like that salmon pink. It's not like a hot pink or a magenta or any of those colors. It's a it's like a salmon pink, and I apologize if it's not coming across on camera, um, but it's more like a like a salmon pink or like a dusty rose pink. So, you know, very, like a very muted, toned down pink. And then I have like some teals, light blue, peach color, kind of like a rust color terracotta, and of course, like the creams and browns. So I can really pull a lot from, from this rug. So when I saw it and I had to pull it out, I had to go ahead and roll it out in the store. I said, okay, I like this. Let me get this home and see what it looks like in the space. And by the way, this rug was $99. And the next day it went up to like 109. I mean, everything is, it seems to be going up for, for some reason um, or another. Um, but yeah, so when I got this home, I laid it out. <laughs> it's still laid out in the same place. That's why I haven't moved the desk on top of it because I just wanted to see what it would look like. And I decided not to go with an eight by 10 because I just want the desk really to sit on top of the rug. I mean, this isn't a, a huge space. So I didn't think that I needed a rug that would be that big, like an eight by 10. I just need something that would kind of house um, this desk. And speaking of the desk, this is a desk that um, I purchased from World Market. Yeah, World Market. At the time when I bought it, it was maybe $300. I think it went up to like $350 now. Um, and I did have a 25% off coupon. Yeah, I am a lurker when it comes to uh, catching deals and trying to purchase things when I have some kind of coupon or I can apply it because you know, this is a pretty big house and we're gonna be furnishing this house, um, furnishing a lot of rooms in this house rather. And so if I can save a dollar or two, I'm all for it. Um, but anyway, so I had seen this desk. I have seen it like on Pinterest. Of course I saw it on the website, on the World Market web, website. And I, I thought I said, is this desk, let me push this in. I said, is this desk too farmhousey? Because it's not a very glamorous desk. It's just, it's a plain on desk, but I like it. I like the width of it. I think it's maybe like 60 inches wide. Um, it's just deep enough for me. And I like the crisscross that it has or the cross um, that it has and I can prop my feet up. <laughs> on this portion of the desk. I'm not sure if that's what it's made for, but that's what I do. Um, so yeah, I love this desk. And let me just show you, it has these things, I just pushed it in. It has these things right here, um, and it's actually on both sides. So you can pull the, you can pull this out and you can set things on there and it's pretty sturdy. Um, I mean, of course I wouldn't sit on it. It won't be able to hold that much weight, but it can hold like an extra laptop, 
it could hold a drink. And for a, a lot of times I put like an extra notepad and a pen in my drink. If I have like a cup of tea, I'll place it here. So I won't have to worry about, you know, being clumsy and spilling my tea and messing up one of my um, laptops. And it also has this drawer. That's the only thing that I don't like about it, that it only has this one drawer. And by the way, this drawer is junky, but we're all getting to know each other, so it's okay. <laughs> if you all see what's going on here, it's not organized. But it's not that deep, but you know, it holds everything that I need, I need for it to hold. <laughs> so that's the only con for me, and it's not like a, a deal breaker uh, whatsoever. And unfortunately, I have to plug things up. I have like this power strip. And my husband did ask me that I want um, an outlet in the middle of the floor. Um, but at the time, the outlets to add an outlet in the middle of the floor was $500 per outlet. Because we were also thinking about putting one in the family room, which I did not add in the family room. Either. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna regret that decision not adding one in the family room. Um, Cause I don't wanna see cores everywhere, but hey, it is what it is right now. And I have this chair that I had from like our old house. So it is just a placeholder um, until I can get the, um, the chair that I want. Um, I saw this chair on Wayfair. And it's like a pink, like a velvet pink color. Kind of very, kind of similar to what's in this rug. I'll probably order that in the next week or so. And I'll, you know, show you all an update. Um, I, I was planning on purchasing it during, during Way Day, but everything I wanted from Wayfair on Way Day was not on sale. Cause I wanted um, some gold knobs for the door because um, I am gonna switch these out from this brush nickel to um, some gold gold doorknobs. Um, I also wanted the chair. I wanted, you know, my office chair from Wayfair. Then I wanted a rug uh, for um, the middle girl, Kylie, for her bedroom. But absolutely nothing that I wanted was on sale. So I was kind of disappointed in Way Day this year. And I have this. And unfortunately, you can't see all of it because it still has to wrap on it from when we moved. And this is a, um, what is this called? This is a file cabinet. Um, fun fact, I purchased this from the Goodwill for like $12. It was brown. So I knew I, knew I wanted a file cabinet because my husband and I, we have some business and things that we like to keep, you know, organized. Um, in a file cabinet. So I knew I wanted a file cabinet. I really couldn't find anything that I want. So I saw this in Goodwill. It was $12, but it was wood. It was brown. So I figured, you know, hey, I'll take it home, see if I can do something with it. I bought some metallic gold paint. So I sanded it down the wood, put maybe about three coats of metallic gold paint on there. And I added like these um, acrylic, lid, acrylic lids, which I think are about four inches in height. And it looks really good. I think I did a good job on it because I am not a DIY type of person. I am more of a, you know, pay for convenience. And, and that's not me, you know, being pretentious or anything like that. It's just a fact. I'm just not really good at DIY. So sometimes I just have to pay for convenience and just purchase things from, purchase things from the store. Um, but this is something I definitely am proud of, a DIY project. And I'll try probably try to do a little bit more around the house because the girls' beds, um, those would be a DIY project. I'm not building them, of course, but as far as painting. So I think I'm gonna move um, this file cabinet over here to this corner, or maybe this wall right here, put it over here because it doesn't, it's not gonna remain over there. And then I have this um, lamp, and my mom purchased this lamp for me. She got this actually from a thrift store. It is such a beautiful pattern that's on this um, lamp. I probably will change out this lamp shade, but the lamp is the lamp base itself is just absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, so once I get something, maybe I'll put it on top of um, that file cabinet. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what, what happens uh, with that. These are just some boxes with decor on there, or inside of them rather. So I just have like random stuff. And these are some items that I purchased <laughs> um, when we were in our apartment. What's in here? It feels like a little Christmas tree. Um, do you really want to see some of this stuff? Yeah, I'll turn I'll turn the camera around and show you. So this is a Christmas tree. I think I yeah, I purchased this like during the um holiday season. I really liked it, so it's like okay. <laughs> Not gonna be out in our house for Christmas, but at least I can go ahead and purchase um some Christmas decor for the following year, which will be this year, 2022. I can't wait for Christmas. So I got this from Home Goods. Like, okay. Now I remember some of this stuff I really don't even remember purchasing. <laughs> two of these when I saw these at home is um, I figured I could put these in the cabinets um, for some you know, decor some layers if I can put something on top of this to give it a little height and I have two of these really nice um, pattern to it and then these are just some candle candle holders, uh, some candlestick holders that I purchased from Target. And when I thought about it, you know, after the fact and after they had been packed up, I said, why did I purchase those? I mean, this is some stuff, you know, when it comes to the seasonal stuff, you know, I can understand that. But this right here is something they carry in stock all the time. So I really did not have to purchase this, but I purchased two of these. Um, I was kind of kicking myself in the butt after the fact. Um, but you know, I have them now and I'll be able to do something with it, put them on like the coffee table or inside of those cabinets or in here, dining room. I can find somewhere to put these. And I forgot to mention this wall back here. It's like my little feature wall. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put back here. If I'm gonna put sconces, um, artwork or what because this wall is so beautiful i don't know i don't i mean of course i don't want to cover it up with a lot of stuff but i still haven't figured out how i want to decorate it and this wall is the same color as the trim in the house so the trim and the doors i mean not this door because this is the buffet gray but the trim the doors it's um, Sheridan Williams Natural Linen. And that's the color that's on this wall too because I wanted it to stand out. So you can see that it, it kind of pops. And then the light fixture. Oh, I forgot to mention the light fixture. Hold on. I'm gonna turn on the light so you can see what it looks like. So this is the light fixture. Look at that beautiful pattern that it puts onto the, um, the ceiling. It's like the perfect, perfect circle. I almost look like the sun, like sun, like the sun rays, right? And this light fixture, I purchased this from Anthropology. I just so happened to go in when they were having a 50% off sale with like some additional percentage off. Um, and I walked past this. I had never seen this light before in my life. And I walked past it and it immediately caught my eye. And I was so nervous <laughs> about purchasing this light because I'm not really an impulse buyer. When it comes to like pillows and, you know, decor, you know, things like that, I can purchase things um, very easily. But when it comes to lighting, you know, big ticket items, um, I like to kind of think about stuff and 
and um, see it in different spaces, see if I can research it. But when I saw this light, I immediately knew that I wanted it. My husband was with me and he said, Tanili, if you really like it, just go ahead and get it. And so that's what I did. I purchased it and one of the best um, spur in the moment purchases for the house that I made. And I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see it a little bit better. I definitely want you to see it with the light on, so I wanted to show it to you with the with the light off. And that's what it looks like up close. It looks like pieces of chalk, but they're actually like wood pieces. And unfortunately, this does not put off a lot of light because it only has one light bulb. Um, that's like the, the downside to it. So that's why I have this a lamp in here that I'll be using um, for if I'm working in the evening or at night or early in the morning when the sun hasn't quite come up yet. And something else that I purchased for um, the office and also for the dining room because I purchased two of these, it's this curtain rod and I bought like the curtain rod hooks to go with them. These here, I like them, but I'm not quite sure if they will go with the light fixture, because like I showed you earlier, you know, here's the light fixture. And that light fixture is definitely gold. Let's turn off the light so you can see it better. And these rings are kind of a brush brass, kind of more of a brassy than gold. And it's the same thing for the um, light fixture that's in the dining room here. If you all can see that. Uh, no, it's probably not. <laughs> it so my dilemma is, should I find curtain rods that are that's more on the gold side, not not the 80s gold, but you know, more of the, you know, the gold that I have, um, you know, that kind of accentuates the fixtures. Or should I keep this? And I also bought, bought some tie backs. Oh, and this is a good point for me to show you all what the closet looks like. I'll show it to you in the open house tour, but I'll show it to you now. I have this random stuff um, in here. But it just so happened, this is sitting right here. So these are the tie, tie bags I, I got. And I actually purchased this from Anthropology. It was on sale, just like the light, 50% off. I think I purchased it all the, the same day. It was a set of two. And it has like that, gosh, like that bone material. That's what that cream is. And so this is like between like a brass and a gold. But it doesn't really go. I mean, it looks like it, but it's not really showing good on camera. Um, and another thing I wanted to show you all is these curtains. I purchased these curtains from Amazon. Yeah, from Amazon because I needed some very long curtains because the ceiling height in here is 11 feet. So it's 11 feet tall. And I want my curtains not necessarily to go all the way to the ceiling because that will require extremely high, or extremely long curtains, but I want it to be up, you know, far enough. So it's kind of hard to find 120 um, inches. Uh, for curtains, so I found, found some on Amazon. I was looking for like a linen, and these had like really good reviews, but I just think they're a little bit too heavy. I think I want them a little bit more sheer, because these are blackout curtains, and I'm not sure if they are actually gonna be blackout curtains, because I haven't hung them up, but I don't think I like them. I think I'm gonna return these, but oh, here's one of the clips too. I put one of the clips um, onto the curtains. I think if it was more formal, I mean, the dining room is formal, but I want something that's just a little bit, a little sheerer. I don't want black eye curtains. 
And FYI, as you can see, we don't have um, blinds up just yet. So, still have to get the blinds up. Still need to put up curtains. Still need to put up curtain um, with a curtain rod, and then a curtain, of course. But I think I'm gonna return these. I also bought some other ones. Cause I can't remember what the name, what color those are, but I bought these two for like a different area. And, hmm, I cannot remember. It doesn't say the name of them. I don't, even, I don't know if they're like oatmeal or what, but I think these may be just a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna return these two. And I got these to go like in the breakfast nook but I think I'm gonna return this. These are a little bit too dark. I'm gonna go to Target real quick and see if they have some. I think I saw some, not I think, I, I definitely saw some online that they had like a curtain rod, like a gold one, and some um, these curtain rod, or these curtain clips, some gold ones. So I wanna see what those look like. And so I'm gonna run the Target real quick and I'll show you all what I come up with. All right, do you all wanna go? Okay. <laughs> I can't hear you, but I'm assuming you're saying yes. So we're gonna, we gonna take a field trip to um, Target so you all can see what, um, what those curtains and curtain rods and stuff look like. All right, everybody, let's go. So hi guys, here we are at Target on our field trip, trying to see what these um, curtain rods and these curtain rod hooks look like. So I'm gonna take you in the store with me. So let's go. So let's see what they have over here at the Target dollar spot. What are these? Are these like kitchen towels? Yeah. Those are cute. Five dollars and some other kitchen towels and candles. Not sure how they smell, but nonetheless, cute. It's a lot of different things over here in a dollar spot. This one says, "This is our happy place." We have several. Kitchen towels or the hand towels. And these are on clearance for 50 cents. <sighs> well, let me get over here to um, the home decor aisle. Oh, these are some cute little bunnies. They have these on sale for $1.50 because right now it's um, after Easter. Um, by the way, have you ever seen this new line that they have, Stony Clover? It's very colorful. I have to check it out. Cute stuff. Okay, so we have made it to the owl with the curtain rods and here are the curtain rings that I wanted to check out. Let's see if they have the curtain rods. I don't think they do, but let's continue to look. Oh, here it is. Right here. What do y'all think? Do you think it's too gold? Let's do a comparison real quick with um, what I currently have. Okay, so this is what I have. And if you see this stuff in this bucket, this is, this is, these are things that I am bringing back because they did not work out. I thought I love this pillow. Look at this pillow. I wanted to see what it would look like um, on, the, on the sofa, but I think I like the one, not think I know, I like the one better that I have and then I wanted to try this pillow out somewhere else but it's a very cute pillow because it's, I have the black background and white one side and then excuse me I got too much stuff in my hand 
and then the white background on the other side or more cream it's more cream than it is in beige or beige than it is white but anyway so this is currently what i have and i just bought a ring the extra curtain ring and th these are the tie backs that i have i showed you these earlier and so i think i like this better because this right here may just be too gold although that chandelier is very gold it's not brass it's not like the 80s gold you know it's a, it's a nice gold um but i think it's more like this it's more leaning to this gold than this gold and i'm not trying to have things match exactly but i do want them to be in the same gold family so i don't know maybe i should just purchase it take it home look at it in that lighting um and see how it looks i i know for sure i'm gonna keep these for the dining room um, but i'm just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do for my office we're over here in the kids section they have so many cute items this look at this basket this is so cute i mean i would use that outside of a kid's room um but yeah these are so nice like target just has like really cute kid items you know for the bedroom um because i'm not really into the mini mouse and the what is mermaids i mean mermaids but just not literally like i don't want to have see a bed spread with a whole bunch of mermaids or unicorns on there like this right here is giving me all kind of inspiration this basket i'm thinking maybe for ryan's room let's see what else they have so i've seen this in a couple of targets and i keep coming back to this for Ryan's room. This is probably my inspiration. I really love this. I love the way it looks. I could do a lot of stuff with it. Let me show you when I was some other things and I saw that would be so cute. Like let me put this here. I look at that pillow. And they have another pillow like this cream pillow and it kind of sounds this plays this plays off of that and then this is super cute too let me move this over here look at these lights you see those those lamps isn't that so adorable and even this mustard yellow or that pink pinkish kind of coral color you know one of those lamps would be so cute in Ryan's room I'm not going to purchase this just yet because I just want to think about it but I think this is where I'm going to start I'm going to start here and work my way out by now you all probably know how I do it <laughs> start with my one item and then go from there I mean, I'll probably get two of these because she has two beds. But I just wanted to show you all that. Look, they have that pillow. You all remember that small lumbar pillow that I have in the leather chairs? Um, they have a square pillow like that. Cute. I think this is $25, the price of that. marble trays. I don't know what the price is. Let's see. Forty dollars. Those are they are heavy. Oh here's one right here. Super heavy. I like these too. Nice. I know I'm in the studio um McGee section. Needs to be straightened up a little bit but a lot of nice stuff here. Uh, these would be perfect over 
the um, what is it called over gosh no it's not mine over the cabinets that's what it is over the cabinets this would be perfect I really like those And it's two, they're square 24 by 24. Let me see if I can find the price. If I can find the price, I'll put it up on the screen here so you can see how much they are. But yeah, that's nice. And this is what the artwork will look like. So it'll be two separate ones. I do like symmetry. Um, but with this abstract artwork, it, it's gonna come in two different patterns. So let's see if i to see if that's something that I, I want, if I can live with. But it's beautiful though, I like it, it would be perfect. Oh, okay everybody. So from Target, <laughs> so from Target, I ended up purchasing, purchasing um, those two bags of, I, got, I actually got two bags of curtain clip rings and then I got the curtain rod. They only had one and I need um, a pretty long one. This is a 66. Um, and it goes 66 inch and it goes up to 120 inches. So that'd be good. Let me show you really quick what the curtain ring looks like on the curtain. Okay, so here are the clips kind of up close and personal. So these are the ones that are from Amazon. And then these are the ones that are from, um, Target. And of course, um, the rods, the curtain rods, um, are the same color because they're from the same line. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go with these for the dining room in my office. And then this I'm going to put um, in another space because I do like those curtains. Um, not curtains, per se, the curtain rods and these clips. I just may use them in the breakfast nook and upstairs. Okay, everybody, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here because um, it's, it's, it's running a little long in the tooth, right? <laughs> um, but I had, I had some other things that I wanted to show you all today, but I just don't want this to be an insanely long video. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out and then you know put this stuff away um, and then more than likely go, go ahead and start filming something else. So if you see this outfit and this headband in the next video, you already know what the deal is, right? <laughs> I just wanna go ahead and put that disclaimer out there, but it's okay if I wanna wear my, you know, this outfit, this is my weekend dress. Does anybody else have a weekend dress? Like a dress that you wear or a pair of pants that you just love wearing all the time? And it's not actually the weekend, but I just call it a weekend dress. I mean, a, a, girlfriend, a girlfriend of mine and I, we always talk about like our weekend attire, how we just have, like a go-to outfit all the time. This is like real quick and easy to put on. You don't have to think about it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this um, this video and I will see you at the next one. All right, bye guys.